Okay, this is going to be uh, another uh, Adobe Encore tutorial because my other one apparently was so popular, which is good to hear. Um, I'll respond to some of the questions that have been asked. Um, speak to Spanish, please. Okay. Nelly Jelly first learned to speak English or learned to type it, one of the two. Okay. Uh, clan member Calvin. That's cute. How do I make submenus? Um, I got the main menu finally, but I want to make a scene selection for special features. Okay, here's the short and skinny on how to do that. I'm just going to create two new menus. There's going to be nothing spectacular here. You can make whatever you want. I'll make a play all. And I'll make a scene select. Okay, so now we've got these bad boys. All right, so I'm going to hit Control B to make them into buttons. Um, I want to not, I mean, I don't know if I pointed this out, but the uh, sync select button text and name, whatever you, hi, how you doing? She loves her marine. Let me close that down real quick here. Okay, uh, <laughs> yes, the wonders. Okay, uh, if you have the sync button text and name on whatever your movie name is, if you um, link it to the movie over here, it's going to take the name of the movie and rename your button. So you want to have those checked off. Okay, so now we're going to take the second one. Is that the first one? What the hell is going on here? Oh, okay. M3. Okay, so M3. M3. Okay, M4 is our main title page. M M3 is going to be our scene select, so we'll just go one and two and that's, I don't even know what the hell button that was, and three. Okay. So now we've got our three movies, and I'm just going to align these because I'm a little... Okay. So now each three of these, I mean, this is, this is, you, you wouldn't do this in any ordinary setup. So there's your three buttons. And then, of course, obviously, you'll want to make a main menu and control B okay so starting with your your main what you'd want to do is upload um, I'll do a credits here that'll be quick how's that okay so now what I want to do is make a new timeline out of that so my M4 is going to be set to first play. This is completely hypothetical. I'll be clicking on my uh, play all, and that's going to go to creds. Okay. And then I'm going to make a new timeline. And here's why. Here's creds two. If I go into M3 and I click on the one, and then I can also link that. I can link that to creds two. Main. You highlight main. You want to link that back to the first play, which is M4. That's your main thing. And I figured out something here. You need to go to your scene select, you want to link that to M3. So now, when you preview, if you click play all, the creds play, let's go back to the menu, and so now if you click scene select, you have your one, two, and three, which are a little fucked up, but hey, and then you click main and it we'll go back. That's the very long and short of it. Now, there's other options that you have. You want to transition between the two. Like, let's say you have a full Photoshop layout for your main page, and you want, you have a transition video that takes you from the one picture to the next picture. Right in the transition setting, you can asset something, and it will, like if you asset it into a video, you can between the scene select, when you click on the scene select, it's going to play this first asset, then automatically go to the next, to whatever you linked it to. Okay. Also, another question I had um, if you just click on your menu, if you open up your menu in here, okay, which I already have opening, you, you don't have any buttons selected, and you go over to motion, um, this is where you can import your audio and video. Um, you can, if you drop, you know, if you select videos, in your project file or audio mp3s in your in your project file you can go into the mo the motion 
if it ever wants to come up here. Oh, I am in motion. Okay, you can select your audio from here and the duration, whether you want it to loop forever. Okay, that was one question. Okay, um, somebody else asked me that every time you try to build a disk fol or a folder in Encore, it crashes. I have plenty of PC to build it, 4 gigs of RAM, 360 gigabyte hard drive, and Vista Ultimate. There's your first problem. Uh, a lot of times with bootleg dev, I've noticed because, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to say I'm perfect, but with bootlegged versions of CS3, if you don't, if you if you're not able to download the updates from Adobe, a lot of times the software will crash. I uh, I tried a bootleg copy of CS3 and I went right back to my purchased copy. Um, it, I bought the production premium and I do not have a problem. I mean, I have some problems like every now and then the screen will bounce on Encore. So I mean, it does have a few glitchy issues with uh, Windows, but not to that point. So I I don't know. It was, uh, Derek Shane photos with an F. Um, I don't know if you had a bootleg copy or not, but I noticed that it crashed a lot when it was a bootlegged copy. The real versions, if you can download the updates, or if you do have a real version and it's crashing, get updates. Go to adobe.com and see what kind of updates they have for Adobe Encore and uh, load them up. And that's about it. If you have any more questions, I'll uh, I'll try and show you what I know. Okay.